top Democrat steals $131 million from taxpayers, her 2018 campaign is doomed. She thought he skimming would go unnoticed, well America is going to make her pay. It seems like there is plenty of wrongdoing going on within the Democratic Party. Oh, I'm sure you are aware of what the Obama administration did to con the American people. I'm sure you know about what Hillary Clinton did to undermine our democracy. But it gets worse from there. Much worse. Numerous Democrats have been outed in recent years for their corruption. Some have laundered money. Others, conning their own supporters, have stolen cash that was supposed to go to charities. Others, like Senator Bernie Sanders, profited through their spouses, as they pocketed big cash. But perhaps none have benefited more than Missouri Senator Claire McCaskill, whose husband gobbled up a whopping $131 million from the taxpayer. From Fox News Democratic Senator Claire McCaskill was hit with another politically damaging report Tuesday when her local newspaper revealed businesses tied to her husband have gotten more than $131 million in federal subsidies since she took office. Husband Joseph Shepard doesn't personally pocket that money. But he has benefited from profits from the housing projects he's invested in that received those subsidies. According to the investigation by the Kansas City Star, Shepard's personal income from the investments grew considerably since McCaskill took office in 2007. He reportedly made between $1,608 and $16,731 in 2006. But in 2017, Shepard reportedly earned between $365,374 and $1.1 million from investments in housing projects that received federal subsidies. This has all the earmarks of dirty dealing. The husband of a U.S. senator was collecting massive checks for projects he was involved in. Subsequently, his own salary skyrocketed. I'm sure there was nothing wrong about that. It's one thing for a politician's spouse to be rich from their own businesses. There's nothing wrong with acquiring wealth from your own hard work. But when that man is getting rich, thanks to government subsidies. That's what we call a conflict of interest. How do we know McCaskill wasn't pushing policy in her husband's favor? It would have benefited herself and her family as well. At the very least, it proves she was happy with her husband getting rich off the government's dime, while she did nothing to help the working families of Missouri. As Missouri GOP states, McCaskill refuses to vote for Trump's tax cuts. Like every other Democrat, she opposed the huge relief that millions of Americans now enjoy. It's very clear that she, like all Democrats, have one standard for themselves and another for the rest of us. She wants to be rich and comfortable, off your money, while you scrimp and save just to make ends meet. Surely the people of Missouri deserve a better leader than that.